Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Uh, this lecture I will talk on uh, autoimmunity. So this is lecture for week six. So first, we have a look on what is actually uh, autoimmunity. Um, autoimmunity basically is the result of mistaken identity. As we can observe in the cartoon here, the immune system is uh, in a state of confusion. So they confuse. Uh, they are not able to differentiate between the real uh, pathogen or foreign invader compared to their own cells. So uh, which one they should attack? So they are in a state of confusion leads to autoimmunity where usually they will uh, attack both the pathogen and also the uh, self antigen or self tissue. So the, the, the definition of autoimmunity is the appropriate response of the inappropriate response or abnormal response of the immune system against itself, against itself, antigens or components, antibodies against uh, their own organs, their own tissues, uh, the T cells attacking their own uh, organs, so we call that as autoimmunity. They are in a state of confusion and loss. T cell and B cells activity uh, normally are regulated in normal individuals through clonal energy or clonal suppression. So you guys uh, can check uh, these two out. This is called uh, uh, the selection uh, or the process where the body induces uh, tolerance. So clonal energy and clonal suppression is uh, among the uh, proposed mechanism on how our own uh, immune cells able to recognize uh, and differentiate between uh, their own uh, antigens, our self antigen and the uh, uh, foreign antigen. A breakdown, a breakdown in this regulation. So system become uh, disorientated can lead to activation of self-reactive clones of T or B cells so this are not supposed to happen so we know we, uh, our body have uh, 100 millions or even billions of uh, types of clones for each uh, T and B cells so some uh, is proposed uh, to be some sort of abnormal, they can uh, react to self antigen, but usually they are control these self reactive clones of T or B cells, which able to respond to or attack the host uh, own immune cell. Uh, the host own cells is controlled by the clonal energy or clonal suppression. So when when this mechanism uh, have a breakdown, so this will generate uh, our own immune system to produce humoral or cell mediated uh, responses against our own self antigens. They are losing its sense of self and non self. Instead of reacting against the pathogen, they focus the attack on self antigen this reaction because they react the reaction is the same they they will respond just how they attack the foreign antigen so the the intensity is the same so they will create a serious damage to cells and organs which eventually or sometimes with fatal consequences Autoimmune diseases are characterized by tissue destruction mediated directly by either the T cell in the form of cell mediated immunity or antibody in the form of production of autoantibody in the humoral immunity.
So antibody they are produced to attack their our own self antigen is called as also antibody. So these are a few examples of uh, the most common autoimmune diseases. There are more than 80, 80 types of autoimmune diseases. So I listed here the, the few of the most common one. So we start with the up, the brain, in the form of disease known as multiple sclerosis, where our own immune system attacks our own brain and CNS. So, second, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, where uh, our own immune system attacks its own thyroid cells. Severe asthma, we have a uh, mild asthma, which, uh, which is categorized as uh, allergy or hypersensitivity state but there are also some form of asthma which is uh, severe compared to the normal or, or the mild type this is where the immune system attacks it owns bronchial epithelial cells that line the uh, airway or uh, respiratory system and then we have celiac disease where the immune system attack our own small intestine uh, cells this is uh, mostly uh, suffered by people who are allergic to uh, gluten which is uh, the main component of uh, wheat uh, and many types of grains Systemic lupus erythromatosis is one of the most common autoimmune disease in the world, even in Malaysia, uh, commonly known as SLE. So this uh, also one of the worst form of autoimmune disease, where the immune system attack the whole body, including the heart. It can be uh, anything, uh, any organ, the heart, the lung the skin, the joints, all over body. So the, uh, the autoantibodies generated will, uh, will be attacking the whole part of the host. And then second, also one of the most common, uh, also in Malaysia and in the world, rheumatoid arthritis, where the immune system attack its own joints. And then eczema and psoriasis. This is uh, very common, especially in children. I think uh, it is estimated around 10 to 20 percent of uh, children suffered from eczema. So they are also proposed as a type of autoimmune disease, where the autoantibodies uh, produced is attacking its own host skin tissues and type 1 diabetes where the autoantibodies produce attacking the insulin making cells in the pancreas the delta cells in the pancreas so what are what are the causes of of autoimmunity actually Immunologists uh, don't really know what uh, triggers the condition of autoimmune in a person. So they propose uh, a few uh, theories on how a person can uh, suddenly suffer from autoimmune disease. So first is the genetic. For example, uh, research uh, has found that there are certain HLA gene, gene subtypes that are shown to be associated with an increased uh, risk for different autoimmune disorders compared to the population that do not have the particular HLA gene. 
And then second, environmental factors, uh, exposure to toxic chemicals, uh, this is in the form of uh, uh, smoking, exposure to the uh, smoke from uh, cigarettes, uh, exposure to uh, exhaust uh, fumes. Uh, there, are, there are research uh, shown that people that expose more to mercury uh, in the working in the factory, they are more prone to develop autoimmunity. Uh, dietary components, so the, the imbalance in the diet or uh, some uh, food types such as uh, milk, uh, wheat, uh, that contain gluten, uh, can induce uh, to auto, to the, product, uh, to the development of autoimmunity in some population and also the imbalance in the uh, gut microorganism uh, gut dysbiosis <coughs> host factor host factor can be uh, uh, focus on two major types uh, or in the host factor first the release of uh, sequestered antigens or uh, hidden antigens to the into the circulation. So this uh, condition release of sequestered antigens. Uh, for example, in the release of of heart muscle antigens. So after an episode of heart attack, such as myocardial infarction, it has been shown to lead on occasion to the formation of auto antibodies this uh, this happen uh, when some of the antigens from the patient heart uh, when they are having a, a heart attack suddenly they release a large amount of uh, antigens in the form of tissues or cells from their heart into the circulation so this antigen or proteins coming from the heart is being detected by the host uh, immune system as uh, some, some, somehow they mistaken that as a foreign cells so they produce uh, for example autoantibodies against the heart tissues and second inappropriate class 2 MSC expression on cells so this can be observed in the insulin dependent diabetes uh, mellitus or diabetic uh, type 1 people uh, the pancreas of a uh, person suffering from diabetes type 1 they express high, the pancreas cells express high levels of uh, both the class 1 and class 2 msc or hla molecules where actually uh, supposed to supposedly in healthy cells, healthy cells only express uh, normal or low level of class 1, uh, MSC class 1 and they are not supposed to express any class 2 MSC uh, molecules on the surface but in, in the case of people suffering from uh, insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, uh, diabetes type 1 their cells somehow abnormally express the class 2 MSC on their surface so this uh, some sort of function as antigen presenting cells so they, they present their own antigen to the T helper cells so this will sensitize like a normal uh, uh, cell mediated immunity the MSC class 2 that that uh, pre uh, present on present on the um, pancreas cells, sensitize the T helper cells, and subsequently produce cell mediated immunity to the pancreas tissue. And for uh, infections, 
in the form of uh, molecular mimicry some pathogens can express uh, protein that uh, resembles or mimic a particular self uh, antigens or components in the host so this uh, will lead to production of cross reacting antibodies that mean since the antigen on the uh, pathogen on the microbes is very similar with the self antigen on the infected person our body will pre uh, will produce antibodies so these antibodies will attack both the microbes the invading pathogen and also it owns tissue because uh, they get confused so here is the required reading for this lecture uh, chapter 20 of the immunity for QB immunology thank you very much